The EPA says rail company Norfolk Southern will begin shipping toxic waste from the Ohio train derailment to certified facilities within the state starting tomorrow. It comes after the agency halted shipments from the site to Texas yesterday. Fox's Mike Tobin is in East Palestine, Ohio with the story. Federal and state EPA officials have now broken the log jam that stopped the cleanup here because they didn't have anywhere to dump the water and soil that was being removed from the site here in East Palestine. The disposal was stalled because officials in other states were not informed that they were receiving the contaminated soil and water, so they stopped it. So now the contaminated water, specifically the water that was used to fight the fire, will go to a deep injection well in Vickery, Ohio, three hours away. The contaminated soil is going to an incinerator in East Liverpool, Ohio, about a half hour from here. We are continuing to work with the railroad and our state partners to identify other solid waste disposal locations. We're exploring other places. We have to determine if they have the capacity to accept what we anticipate will be the liquid and the solid waste from this cleanup. 15 truckloads or 210 tons of contaminated soil went to a facility in Wayne County, Michigan. Half a million gallons of firefighter water was shipped to Harris County, Texas. But officials there say no one informed them they were getting the hazardous waste. One thing that I, I want to share that I think the public should know is that I learned about this not from a regulatory agency, not from the company, but from a member of the press. And that's unacceptable. A deep injection well essentially shoots the contaminated water down into the earth far below the level from which well water is harvested. An incinerator is just like it sounds. It burns the contaminated soil with the intention of burning off the hazardous material and capturing it as it escapes. Regardless, the process of remediation begins again on Monday. In East Palestine, Ohio, Mike Tobin, Fox News.